Lisa w was talking about child care for William. So Graham and Shauna initiated, you know, the role that they play now. I said, like, Graham's re retired. I am was a stay-at-home mom. And, uh, like, anytime we can help you guys out, you know, we'll, we'll, we're there. It, it took some time before we actually, we, we became desperate before we took them up on that offer. So she texted me and totally felt awkward about it. I'm like, like, dude, <laughs> don't feel awkward about it. Like, this is cool. I'm done. It's time to go to Graham's. Huh? It's time to go to Graham's. I'm nice. You're all ready? Huh? Are you all ready to go to Graham's? I'm nice. Oh, yeah. It's a big chore, I'd say, if that's the, probably not the best word, but it's a, you know, it's, you're looking after your kids and, you know, as our kids grow up, they sort of slowly go away, but young William, he's, he's a part of your, you know, your, your whole makeup. You feel for them because you know that William's, William's with them for life. It really was them coming to us and saying, we will do this, we want to do this. It was more from our perspective, like, like, um, are we able to do it? Are we capable of doing it? Like, we don't want William to get, you know, upset or frustrated. And then again, if he gets frustrated and upset, how do we deal with it? I feel like the only skill that you really need to look after William is compassion. He has some behaviors, but there's nothing that re requires special training. Okay. <laughs> the only thing is the communication aspect of it can be a bit challenging. He does have certain um, ways of saying things, and, I, and it takes a while to actually pick up what he's, what he's throwing down. What did you do here? But once you start picking it up, you can see even his frustration level drop. Pancakes? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Him and I were playing Jenga and he wanted to watch Pinocchio. And I couldn't understand for the life of me what he was saying. And he grabbed a Jenga block and he put it on his nose. And I'm like, Pinocchio, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. I felt like, oh my goodness, like my heart swelled. William, like he's a character, he's a, He's, a, he's, he's good for the soul, that's what I'd say to Lisa. Like, he's a, he's a cool kid. Do you like those, William? Do you like those ones? Yes. They absolutely do not have to. There's no obligation. They don't need the money. They're retired, right? There's no reason for them to want to spend time with Will except to want to spend time with Will. It takes a village. We're an added component of William's life and he likes coming over here. We like having him come here. I feel good in the sense that they feel that they can trust us with William because William is, I mean, he would be considered a vulnerable in individual in the sense that he can't communicate overly well and he could be taken advantage of. I think that's a tough one though. It's like trying to find that the people that you trust with your with your child that uh, you can walk away and not worry about it. I'm constantly in the back of my mind hating that I have to put a friend in a situation where I'm asking for help. I just think it's a human nature thing that we don't like asking for help and it shouldn't be. Like we should, if we need help, we should ask for it. And I think most friends and family would do it in a heartbeat.